Hello everyone, Lars here for Unicorn Reviews and today we're going to look at AMD's Mantle which is a, a way of rendering 3D objects um, so at the moment the only game that has it is uh, Battlefield 4 um, Teeth is going to have it and um, there's also a, a demo of a new engine that I'm going to show you guys in the testing and so we're going to compare everything um, versus uh, DirectX 11 um, because that's kind of what Mantle is it's AMD's version of OpenGL or DirectX and hopefully it's going to perform a lot better so free performance for us which is great so guys when we're reviewing Mantle um, it's quite important probably that I tell you what Mantle exactly is because I think a lot of people don't quite get it um, this is AMD's uh, slide about Mantle which they showed at GPU 14 and you know nine times more draw cells per second what I mean what are those a lot of people don't know really um, basically the way it works as their globe shows is you have graphics core next which is their architecture a very scalable architecture uh, and an architecture for a CPU or a GPU is pretty much uh, the same as how you hook your transistors up together and how you let them communicate um, they done that really really well uh, as it shows with DirectX and it shows they've done incredibly well with OpenGL but someone at AMD must have thought well what if we go even better and you know create Mantle so the way Mantle works is it's it has its own uh, system uh, pretty much um, when you code something um, first up you're gonna I mean the most basic coding is just uh, computer language which just a bunch of ones and zeros ridiculously hard and it also uh, to make and it only works on one single uh, you know, CPU for example which is why people then moved on to some uh, coding languages like C Sharp for example and you can then compile it for a specific CPU and it then runs on assembler which runs on mach machine language and then you can run something in Java which will run on every single computer but it will work on C sharp converting it again to assembler again to machine language so the higher the layer the slower something goes and as they show here your graphics applications they run in the highest layers which is really really not good if you want massive performance what Mantle does is it can you have the Mantle API which is an API is just a way of coding really um, and you just change a few settings uh, it's probably a lot more complicated than that but when you're coding you just change it so that it also works with Mantle and your Mantle API will then uh, tell your Mantle driver that you're using a graphics core next thing so it knows exactly what transistor does what and where um, you know the different registers are and everything making it really really efficient as we're going to see when we do a benchmark and some Battlefield 4 um, play so with all of that in mind really uh, let's just do a bunch of testing I'm not going to show you all of it because that would be ridiculously boring um, but I'm just going to tell you guys the numbers in the end and we're also going to award it which uh, you know it's the first time I really reward uh, awards um, software so let's get going okay guys first in our test uh, is a, a benchmark like um, demo of the uh, nitrous engine um, so this is uh, just released and you can uh, I mean you can see we, we maxed it out it takes about six minutes and uh, you can choose between uh, direct X 11 or uh, mantle um, so let's just uh, press start and uh, we're gonna do a direct uh, 3d direct X uh, run first and after that we're gonna do a mantle run Okay guys, uh, I don't really know if you can read that very well, but after um, 360 seconds or 6 minutes, 
we scored 12,300 frames with DirectX 11 um, with an average FPS of 34.16. I'm, I'm gonna analyze that data a bit better because I got data about every single frame it recorded. Um, I'm gonna analyze that and talk about that in the conclusion. So right now what we're gonna do is we're gonna start it in Mantle. Okay, so we have one minute to go in this uh, benchmark and uh, as you can see graphically um, it looks exactly the same as it does with a DirectX 11. Uh, however, it kind of clearly says AMD's uh, powered by AMD mantle thingy. Um, so it looks exactly the same, so all you're getting really is uh, free performance. And we're going to see how much performance that is. Okay, we got our data from the test. So um, let's just see uh, if anything changed. And stuff has changed. We now have uh, 15,781 FPS. Uh, but more importantly, our average FPS has changed from 34 to 43. Um, so let's just quickly get a calculator out. Um, That's pretty much 28% uh, of free performance. All right, so we already did the uh, the benchmark. So now Battlefield 4 real life performance gains. Uh, pretty much what everyone is interested in, uh, in of course. Um, so it just loads up like usual because this is our direct X. Um, 3D test that we're gonna, yeah, so DirectX 11 test. Uh, that's what we're gonna run first, but I'm already gonna show you how you change it to Mantle if you have the compatible hardware. Okay, so once you're in the game, uh, all you have to do to enable Mantle is press Escape, go to Options, Video, not changing mouse sensitivity, so Video, and then in here you get a new slider uh, saying Graphics API, you can just switch between uh, DirectX 11 and Mantle, and then of course if you want to save it, you just click back, Save Settings, yes. And we're now rendering uh, stuff in Mantle, so it, it still looks exactly the same to me. Uh, what I'm now going to do is um, test stuff. So I'm just going to revert back to um, DirectX 11, do a test first, look at what our frame rate is and how stable the frame rate is, and then we're going to do it all again in Mantle. Alright guys, conclusion on AMD's Mantle API. Um, I always start with awards and this time um, it's no different so I'm just going to give it Platinum. Um, Mantle is probably, uh, to a lot of people, really really great. Um, you know, we saw performance increases in the, uh, the benchmark. We had 23.3% of extra performance, just free performance by changing the way uh, your graphics cards uh, render stuff. And then in Battlefield, we saw 29.1% um, uh, in single player 
and 27.9% uh, per uh, performance increase in multiplayer on this rig. Uh, I then uh, got friends to uh, use different um, CPUs but with the same graphics card at the same clock speeds and with the, uh, the 2500K we got an improvement of um, in the benchmark we got 25% improvement and um, in Battlefield multiplayer, he only did multiplayer, 27% um, increase. Uh, move it up to a Haswell i7 and um, you know apparently the, bigger, the better your CPU the more you'll gain from mental as well and over there we got um, 30, in, 30 flat apparently in the benchmark and 32 in Battlefield multiplayer. So if you have a, a 7000 series card, uh, it is going to come eventually and when you bought your card uh, you had no idea that Mantle would ever exist. So for you guys that's probably going to be let's say 25% performance just for free, like here's 25% extra performance. Which, you know, if you own a uh, graphics card next uh, graphics card, then for you that's a really, really cool thing. Um, for us who bought the, uh, the R9s and the R7s with the idea of mental being released, uh, also the Kaveri APUs. For it, it's also cool because it's even better than I expected. I did expect somewhere between 15 and 20 percent uh, performance. Um, but apparently, if you go with dual cards, uh, according to uh, Dice's own figures, you can get somewhere like 60 percent uh, extra performance for free, absolutely free. Um, and because it's for free, anyone else has really no reason to complain um, other than the NVIDIA guys, but yeah, that's just sad for them. You guys got physics, which doesn't do anything. Um, so yeah, if you like the video, press like. If you dislike the video, press dislike. Uh, leave a comment on your thoughts on companies bringing out their own render APIs. And uh, yeah, thank you all very, very much for watching.